Okay. And right now, we have completed a perfectly livable, comfortable fishing shack situation right over my biggest forest biome pond. And I just need to test it real quick. Works perfectly from inside. All in all, pretty damn good build. Very decorative. Fits into the environment pretty well. And that completes our forest biome. Overall, I'd say this town project turned out pretty damn good. Well, I've already decided what my next biome project is. So let's head straight there. All the way on the other side of our artificial corruption biome, we have the Tundra. And I'm going to be building our next little paradise right here in this ditch in the middle of the biome. I've already got a couple of ideas for it, but in order to do this right and make this as interesting as possible, I'm going to write out a handful of different ideas I've got for a theme for this build. And then I'm going to randomly select one of them. Okay, so I've written down four potential options. Those options are a wintry hot spring resort, which would be quite interesting trying to build a ton of water features into this environment, probably use some smoke blocks painted to look like white steam instead. Could be pretty fun. Then we have frozen fossil research that would have some similarities to Subnautica's expansion. Then we have SCP-354, which uh, would be quite grisly, quite bloody. I'd definitely have to put a lot of water in here and then add in the Blood Moon Fountain. And then for number four, because Santa Claus is an NPC that spawns in the holiday season, I could just straight up turn this into Santa's workshop because I need to build a house for him here anyway. Okay, so after a bit of rolling, it looks like the hot spring one. So that definitely gives me plenty to do with each of the NPC specialties. You know, all of the steam could also be used to power the Goblin Tinkerer's Forge. The mechanic and steampunker definitely belong there with uh, all of the engineering and maintenance that would go into keeping everything warm here. And then, of course, I'd probably just give old Saint Nick a nice sweet tucked somewhere up here.
Okay, so... So far, I have a pretty decent base of a build here. I mean, the background here around the hot springs definitely looks good, although I should expand on a few things. Particularly right there, because having that exposed isn't a good idea. But yeah, uh, a bit of bamboo built into the background, some tall stone spires, and I use the inverted paint to turn the smoke blocks into steam. Then down here, I have a quick elevator that shows the way down into these caves where we have our reservoir. And I should put some lanterns in here. We've got the reservoir being heated up by this meteorite ore down here. Since it burns everything, it makes sense that uh, having that down here would melt the ice. Um, I'm probably going to try and stick most of this uh, pump engine in the background with some actuators. And then get down there and put up some supports holding up that meteor chunk. So it's not just free floating like this. And then of course I need to work on expanding the background. So I can stick a few houses and whatever is going to hold the teleporter up here. So let's jump into that and see how far I can get today.
this is a pretty good chunk of process. The background hill here is definitely looking good. The steampunker's house is a much more vertical build than I'm used to doing, but it seems pretty comfortable. It gives her easy access to everything built underground, which is supposed to be her job to maintain. Even have this mannequin with a parka set up right by the back door leading to those frozen tunnels. And I gave her a nice little airship that she's uh, going out and exploring and finding supplies to bring back and drop off. Not the biggest airship, but she doesn't exactly need one. I've built way too many airships in previous runs of this game anyway. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this, and then the next step would be to figure out what my centerpiece over this is going to be that contains the uh, pylon to teleport into. And then I'll probably set up the mechanic and goblin tinkerer's house over here just set up on the hill with the teleporter right in here and then jolly old saint nick will get a nice place tucked up here Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content, or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. 
Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again on the next video.